Hi, this is David Dusek, Senior Writer with Golf Week Magazine. Welcome to this week's edition of Ask the Expert, the place where you get to ask me anything you like about golf equipment and what the guys are using on the PGA Tour. Hey, this week's letter comes to me from Peter Farnsworth in Albany, New York, and Peter writes, David, I know that golf balls fly farther when it's hot and when you're playing at higher altitudes, but starting at what temperature do balls fly less far because of the cold? Thanks. Well, Peter, I had an opportunity to reach out to the folks at Titles, and they gave me a pretty lengthy explanation as exactly what happens to golf ball performance when you're playing in cold weather. And they really um, stress two different things. The first thing is that when you're playing in cold weather, you have to realize that the air is more dense than it is when it's warm. So therefore, the golf ball is going to fly a little bit higher in the air, and it's going to fly a little bit shorter, but probably not as short as you might think. For example, if you hit at 70 degrees a shot that goes 200 yards, the same shot when you're playing at 50 degrees is going to go about 197 yards according to titles. So really dropping 20 degrees in temperature only resulted in about 3 yards loss in distance. Now if you keep going down in temperature that effect may increase a little bit, but what's probably much more likely is that if you're playing in temperatures that are in the 40s or in the 30s, it's probably that your body is going to be affected much more than the actual golf ball performance and that's where you may see a dramatic loss in yardage. You're not able to swing nearly as effectively when it's 40 degrees or 38 degrees as you would when it's say 60 or 65 degrees. Now the other thing to remember is also if you keep your golf balls out in your car overnight and it gets really cold or if they get exposed to cold for a long period of time, they get less resilient and therefore you're going to lose a little bit of initial velocity, especially off the driver and some of the longer clubs. That's where you might notice it. The same thing actually interestingly happens at really high temperatures. You lose a little bit of the um, snap as well. So what you should do is try and rotate the golf balls around when you're playing in really cold conditions. Maybe keep one in a pocket to make sure that you can sort of rotate every couple of holes so that you've got one that's sort of a little bit warmer than the others. If your golf balls are, are exposed to extreme cold, bring them inside and let them just warm back up to room temperature on their own. Their resiliency will come back according to titles and you'll be just fine. You never want to keep your golf balls and really almost any of your golf equipment out in your car when it's really cold out. Listen, if you've got a question you'd like to ask me, the expert, please feel free to email me at ddusek at golfweek.com or feel free to send me a message via Twitter at at golfweek underscore dusek. Thanks a lot and I look forward to talking to you soon.